Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, and I am about to do one of the most taboo things that you can possibly do as a dipper. I'm going to dip a stock black car white with no base coats, no added tints. I'm just going to go for it. Now, is this a bad idea? Well, I may have a little bit of a secret weapon, so definitely pay attention to this video. It's a very, very important video for the dipping community. It's Fonzie. I hope you enjoy it. Now guys, if I was jumping into this project using this product right here, the rubber dip spray, there's probably two things I'd want to keep in mind. First, I'd probably want to start with a gunmetal gray base coat. It gives the rubber dip spray something to stick to. It helps the white pigment build up a little bit better without running and gets you some better coverage a little bit quicker. The second thing I'd want to do is grab some dip your car tints and throw some white tints into each white rubber dip spray gallon. Again, it will help get better quicker coverage. However, I'm not using this product. I'm actually going to be using this product. This is Plasti Dip Spray. And it's a lot more than just a name change. This is a complete revamp and reformulation of what was Rubber Dip Spray. And there's a lot of very important benefits that you're going to get when using the new Plasti Dip Spray. The first thing is it's got an anti-marring agent in it to really help protect it from those day-to-day -day scratches that you'd get. It's also got a leveling agent in it meaning it's going to level better, it's going to be a smoother finish, and actually have much better result at the end of your project. It's got increased UV protection to protect those colors from fading in the sun. It's got a much slicker feel to it. You know when you use the rubber dip spray, you've got a rubbery, grippy feel to it. That's almost completely gone with the Plasti Dip Spray. Your fingertips and everything are going to slide over the car and over the surface much easier. It feels almost like vinyl. And then the last and almost maybe the most important benefit it's a dramatically increased pigment load. So this color is going to cover a lot better and a lot quicker than the rubber dip spray. And if you've ever seen white rubber dip spray sprayed before, you're going to be a little bit shocked about how quickly this covers. So one of the questions is, is it still need a gunmetal gray base coat? And I got a perfect test set up for that. Let's go try it out right now. Now we've got one of our test hoods here set up and we've got half of it with three coats of gunmetal gray as a base coat. The other half is just bare black OEM paint. We're going to go coat to coat with the new Plasti Dip Spray gallon and see as we go if there is still a benefit to having a gunmetal gray base down before you start shooting the white. Now, this is three dry coats of the new white Plasti Dip Spray in gallons. Remember, this side had three coats of gunmetal gray as a base coat. This side had no base coat at all, just bare black automotive paint. And as you can see, and I'm pleased to say, the two sides are completely indistinguishable. There's no difference between the side after three coats that had the base coat versus the side that doesn't. So that means I can jump into this car project here with full confidence that even though I'm doing a car in white, no base coat and no tints are required. Now we've gotten complete full white coverage after just three coats. Now that doesn't mean obviously that we want to stop at three. This car here is going to get at least five or even six coats of the white Plasti Dip Spray. With the new Plasti Dip Spray, you're going to get coverage building up quicker, but that doesn't mean that you want to stop putting coats on earlier. You definitely want five, six, maybe seven coats for the durability and peelability that you want. So we're going to jump right into this car, no base coat at all, and start laying our coats down.
Now behind me, we have the world's first car done in the white Placidip spray gallons. And believe me, it is a completely different adventure than when we used to use the old rubber dip spray gallons on this type of a car. We got full and complete white coverage over the black OEM paint with no base coat and no tints at all after just our third coat. Now definitely move this product up into the five or six coat range just because you're going to get a lot quicker coverage using the new Plasti Dip Spray. You still want to have enough product on the car for long term durability and peelability as well. Now if we were going to do this car using the old rubber dip spray formula, we would have gone into it with two gallons of gunmetal gray, four gallons of white rubber dip spray and a white tint kit. And to get this car done as you see it, we just about finished up our third gallon. That means the new formula versus the old formula, you're going to save about two gallons and a tint kit, which is about $150 savings. So this new formula is not only much easier to apply, but it's going to save you a ton of time and a ton of money. Now, every single white gallon sold from the time that this video goes live, moving forward on dipyourcar.com is the new white Plasti Dip Spray gown. Now all the colors are going to transition over on dipyourcar.com to the new Plasti Dip Spray. You can always call in or email customer service at dipyourcar.com if you want an update on the new formula or if you have any other questions about your project. So we're going to let the camera go around. It's a bright, bold, beautiful white. You can barely even look at it in the sun. We're so thrilled to take this next step in the dipping industry. It's going to make dipping cars white a ton easier. It's going to save you guys a bunch of money and it's going to make using a white base coat for any type of white pearls a hundred times easier as well. We're actually thinking about using this car as a white base for a pearl moving forward in the next video. So it's Fonzie. I really hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you in the next video.